How are we doing? Well, I'm in Manabia, which is um, a bay in the south coast of Pembrokeshire. I'm not alone. I've, I've actually met up with a load of guys off a, you see them in the background, off a uh, Facebook group, which I follow. We've followed it for a while, never met up with them before. Uh, wall camp photography, they're called. So I'll put a link uh, in the bottom of the video if, you, if you're interested in wall camping and uh, landscape photography, and you're based in the UK or you're visiting the UK, um, jump over to their uh, Facebook group. They're a really nice bunch of guys. And we've just come met up now. Um, I've just pitched a tent and <laughs> come down to uh, Manabir Beach. We actually pitched the tent to the other side of there, so we've got quite a walk and it's starting to go dark now. <laughs> we frantically just sort of waited. When we got it, it was raining um, and we knew that as soon as the rain stopped, it was only forecast to last about half an hour, as soon as it stopped, the sky was going to light up amazing. So we knew we were going to get a really nice sunset and it, uh, it's been absolutely fantastic. There's some surfers bobbing around in the water over there. So while we were waiting for sort of the tide to settle down a little bit and to make its mind of whether it's coming or what, uh, wait for it to come in as far as it was likely to. We we're always photographing these, these surfers falling off their boards, so they you never know something to do while you're waiting for the tide to do what it's, it's supposed to be doing. Um, but yes, yeah, it's been a really, really, really nice uh, evening. And we obviously get to meet these guys, which I've never met before. And uh, landscape photography is fantastic for bringing people together, isn't it? You know, everybody's got this common interest. We can all meet up. They're all, they're all in their tents as well, so it's going to be a good laugh. And uh, it's not really a wild camp <laughs> because we're in a, we're in a, a Y. HA campsite and it's got a bar and everything so it's going to be a really really fun night and obviously then we're going to meet up for sunrise in the morning and uh, find another spot but yeah Pembrokeshire is absolutely fantastic for sunset locations and I've been to Manabia before um, it's a really really if you're visiting South Wales you come into Pembrokeshire do check out Manabia it's absolutely stunning um, and just just underneath the water there's this beautiful green when we got here actually before it started raining there's this beautiful green um, moss bright bright green moss and that would have made an amazing foreground but Obviously, we knew the tide was coming in, it was raining, so I just sat and had a coffee. Took me waterproof, so I <laughs> embraced it, basically. But it's been really, really good fun um, hanging out with these guys and just waiting uh, for the tide to sort of... Because you've got to be safe. Obviously, we were climbing these rocks here. There's a lovely... Uh, see the rocks going around there. We wanted to climb over them rocks to see what foregrounds we'd get. But obviously, not knowing what the tide was going to do, we really had to make sure we were going to be safe. So we kind of... We came back, bottled it a little bit, and just sort of waited for the uh, for the tide to settle down. Don't think it's coming any further now. I've got wet, very wet feet. <laughs> I've been caught a few times. But I've got some really nice photographs, I think, um, of this rock in the foreground here. Um, I just had the camera set uh, the um, with the 12mm Sam Samyang lens, which is an 18mm equivalent, and I just had that um, focused on about a metre in front of me at f/8. Uh, or then it went down to f5.6 because the light went a bit low. Um, I bumped the ISO up a little bit, I think, to ISO 320. Um, but yeah, just had the ND, um, the 0.6 grad on the sky there, just to balance the exposure. And I was going for about a one second exposure just because I wanted, between a one and a one and a half second exposure because I wanted the movement in the water. I was waiting for the lines, waiting for the waves to come in o over my feet and legs, soaking me to death. And then when it retreated, it left these amazing details in the, in the rocks underneath and uh, there's a lot of movement in the water so it's really really good for getting them nice really detailed lines um, so yeah hopefully i've punched in make make sure that everything's in uh, in focus so it should be really really nice images so i was a uh, nd8 nissi nd8 filter uh, which i didn't need at the end actually because it went dark really quickly um, yeah just just to make sure that i had a one second exposure iso started at one uh, iso 100 then went up to three uh, 320 um, as it, as it got darker but uh, yeah it's been really really nice watching these guys fall off the surfboard as well absolutely brilliant what an evening so we're going to head back now um, and we're going to go back over to the campsite and uh, get some dinner on and chill out a bit I don't think there's going to be an astro photography the moon is pretty much full <laughs> and it's cloudy as anything but uh, it's been really good looking forward to it. if the sunrise is as good as this we're going to be having an amazing sunrise so yeah what an amazing place Are you sure now? <laughs> oh, they are. <laughs> oh dear. Good morning. Uh, we are down at apparently this place is called Principi Bay. Not, not a bit like Mississippi, but Principi Bay. 
in, uh, in Pembrokeshire, and Manabia um, Army Barracks just in, just literally up, the, up there. So no driving flying this morning, sadly. Uh, but we've we've come down. There's uh, six or seven of us this morning, um, all camped um, in in the campsite just there. It's been a really, really nice, calm night, no wind, so a bit cold, but it was all right, really, really nice. So we've come down to this bay this morning on the promise that it's, you know, the weather forecast looks absolutely incredible. We've got, um, the sun sets completely in the wrong, sorry, the sun rises completely in the wrong direction, but we've got a nice level of, of medium and high high level clouds, so it should catch the, 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 the sun rise this morning. Um, so yeah, really quite excited about this. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a really nice morning. It's really, really uh, slippy getting down. You're just going to wait for a few of the other guys to come down that, that rock front, front there. Flipping lethal. But yeah, we're going to about half an hour before sunrise. So I'm going to wander around, see what compositions we get. There's some really, really fast moving water and there's lots of rocks in the foreground just here. So I'm thinking what's going to be important in the photograph is the is the movement in the in the water just to get some nice lines and stuff like that. Um, obviously, we're not shooting into the sun uh, rise. Um, so hopefully it's just going to be a case of a really nice, intimate, simple composition with the rocks in the foreground. But we've got about half an hour before sunrise, so I'm going to get the coffee on, chill out, have a wander around, try not to spoil all this amazing sand that the, that the sea has just left. The tide's on its way out now as well, so I don't know, give it half an hour. We might have even lost the, the waves going around their rocks, but yeah, we're going to chill out wait for these guys. So I'll see you in a second. Right, so believe it or not, it's actually sunrise, and uh, I wouldn't say we're disappointed, but there is no colour in the sky. Well, there was a tiny, tiny bit, but that's kind of gone, so sunrise at quarter past eight, it's now, and uh, time is it? It's 20 past eight, so we should have a, a lot more colour in the sky than we're getting, but there is this amazing rock, which the water, luckily, the, the tide hasn't gone out too much, so we're able to sort of use this rock, this great big single rock on its own as a really nice foreground. And, uh, I've noticed with my photography over the last couple of months that the images I've liked more have been the really simple ones, even with landscape photography or street photography. Um, and uh, so basically, with all these amazing rocks that are around, they all make really, really nice foregrounds, but I've gone for one single element just to keep a very, very simple image. I've actually turned the camera into square mode as well, so you can actually see um, a nice, simple, straightforward composition and just have the, 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 the very prominent rock in the bottom. But um, the, the, the horizon isn't quite in the top third because I wanted the bottom part of the picture to, to have this lovely motion, this amazing motion in the water. So I've had a two second exposure just to make sure that I get the nice streaks of water as, it, as the tide recedes back past that rock. So the important aspect to the photograph for me wasn't so much depth of field, it wasn't anything other than making sure I could have a two second um, shutter. So I was on F8, two seconds, ISO about 160, and only had a 0.6 grad on and the polarizer. The polarizer is because it's really, really wet sand and that really cut through the, the water that was glistening on the top of the wet sand. It made a massive difference, the polarizer. As I rotated that, you could see how much the polarizer was cutting through to give you the nice, clear sand. So yeah, really nice image, dead, dead straightforward. And I say shooting square just so I can see how simple the image was gonna be. Um, but yeah, I think it's come out nice. There aren't, I mean, there's quite a, it's difficult because the tide's going out now. So like we've got to wait probably another 10 minutes to see what the tide's doing, see what other rocks sort of are under the water and we'll move the, uh, move the cameras forward. But yeah, so far so good. This is turning out to be an absolute belt of a morning. We've, we've given it five minutes, waited for the, for the tide to go out a little bit more just to see which rocks are going to be available next. And we found another rock, and I've gone to portrait orientation now because I really want to get amazing leading lines uh, going up to the rock in the background. So I've actually got this rock here, and I've actually got the camera right down here and waiting for the tide to sort of come past me. And as a, with a two second exposure, the, le the leading lines are pointing up to that rock. So the rock is my top third, bang in the middle, and all these lines of the two second exposure, and with the contrast that's coming off the polarizer as well. And I say, I've still got my 0.6 grad on this for the sky, just to darken the sky down a little bit. But the, the leading lines, as the water comes, you see it coming here, as the water, the tide's actually gone out now, but as the, as the, as the water was coming past here, we were, I mean, the tide was literally coming probably about three metres further away we, where we are now. So, um, yeah, every now and again we get a freak wave that just comes right up to about here. And as it goes back with, I just, I've got my, my cable release and I'm just waiting for it to come right past me and then locking it off, and like it is now, and I'm 
the movement of the water going back past that rock is absolutely fantastic. But earlier it was coming right up to here, so we had these really strongly lines. I was really, really pleased with the photographs. Yeah, so it's uh, looking like a really, really good shoot this morning. I can't actually believe it, although I am in Wales, so I shouldn't be saying this, it's actually started raining. Unbelievable. It's really, really cool. We've lost all the rocks for foreground, so what I've do, I mean, the camera's getting soaked, so I've got a cloth over the camera to stop it getting, but there's, um, there's still really, really nice movement in the water, so I'm convinced. A bit, a bit arty again, I suppose, but the sky's epic, because obviously there's a storm coming. Um, but with a really long exposure again, just having the motion in the water, some really nice leading lines of the water. So I've gone for, I've tried a couple of exposures, two seconds and three seconds, just to see if it gives me the best result. Um, I really like it, but it's just a shame that now it's literally started tipping it down. It wasn't forecast at all, I can't believe it. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna have to take shelter. <laughs> Everybody's making a run for it. The sky is lit up, fantastic. A few of the guys have actually gone back to get the bacon rolls and stuff like that, but we, we, we embraced the rain, we, we hung it out, and now we're rewarded with this gorgeous colour in the sky. Um, we found a fantastic composition. The only frustrating thing, and it's really frustrating us, is the tide is so unpredictable. It sort of goes right out, and you think, oh, that's it, the tide's staying out sort of thing and then every couple of minutes it comes shooting back in again so we can't even sort of follow the tide out safely because our gear would just get trashed so waiting really patiently well they're waiting patiently i'm not patient at all uh, by this composition waiting for the wait for the tide um, and i've got we've got the cameras portrait and um, one and a half seconds exposure and it, the, 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 the composition is fantastic because it's got this tiny little rock which leads up to this great big rock which with, in the portrait orientation you get you'll, you, eventually when the w water does come in you'll get these amazing lines going up to the rocks and the, the detail and the colours and the clouds and there is a slight reflection as well in the foreground as well so if it does pull off it will be an amazing image. Right then, we're going to head back and get the bacon sandwiches going. We've, uh, we've had a fantastic morning. It's been really, really good. A bit challenging with the water constantly shifting out to the sea. Um, the tide was going back so, so fast. It was, uh, it was quite a challenge to sort of anticipate a composition, get your settings right, get your filters right, and wait for the... And you pretty much had one or two opportunities to get the photograph right. Um, so, yeah, really, really nice. A mixture between uh, portrait and landscape uh, photographs. I was mainly using, in fact, I think I was always using my uh, Samyang 12 mil, so it was about 18 mil the whole time. Um, yeah, but really, really got some nice. I was looking for making sure that every composition I had was very simple, and then with the two second exposure, just using the leading lines going up to the up to the object, up to the subject. Um, but there was some amazing clouds. The sky did have a little bit of colour towards the end. So hopefully we'll be able to pull that out in the in Lightroom. But uh, yeah, it's been a really, really fun morning. And it's a shame a couple of the guys got, didn't actually make it down. They did start walking with us. I don't know whether they got lost or what, but yeah, they didn't actually make it down as far as here. But uh, yeah, we missed out on a really, really good morning. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, a bit hectic, and obviously because we've come out with a group of lads, it's just nice to sit around, chat, and have a laugh sort of thing. So it's yeah, difficult to talk to the camera so much. But really, really enjoyed it. It's gone extremely bright now. It's about half past nine, so the sun's broke through the clouds. We've got blue skies over there. It's wrecked everything <laughs> yeah sun's kind of in the wrong place but yeah it's been a really good morning hope you've enjoyed the photography and uh, if you haven't already subscribed please hit the subscribe button i would much, much appreciate that and uh, hit the like button as well drop a comment let me know what you think of the photographs and uh, i look forward to seeing you again thanks so much for watching take care see you again